what is up guys welcome on back to tk's garage and today's video there's more problems at stellantis just when i think i'm getting done filming something for the day more stories pop and this one comes in from click detroit let's roll the intro and get directly into it <music> So guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage. This one comes from clickdetroit.com or something like that. A bunch of you guys emailed me and stuff right away. And I had already cut like, who knows how many news stories already that day. And um, it looks like Carlos Tavares is trying to have it both ways. You know, between bringing the Hemi back with Jeep uh, or some people are saying getting rid of their existing inventory. But from what we're hearing, what I'm seeing is they're building new Hemi engines. So not existing stock, but we'll all, all wait and see, I guess. So this happens, and then they say they wanna cut more costs. Now that's coming on the edge of earnings that are gonna drop here at the end of June that are going to rock that Stellantis stock. And I think part of that is the lack of sales, the absolute failure of the Hornet, the delay on the EV charger, uh, you know, the delay with the production and where they're going to be with the EV Ram, the issues they're having with the hurricane engines blowing head gaskets and everything else. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. Unfortunately, it looks like 30% of the workforce at Stellantis here in the U.S. and the Auburn Hills office are going to be going bye-bye. In fact... Rumors are going around now that Stellantis is looking to sell the Chrysler building. This is not good news, guys. But let's go ahead and run the news story so you guys can see it. We'll run this news article uh, or news post so you guys can see it, and then we'll discuss. Well, it is uh, highly discouraging news for Motown tonight. After last week's Stellantis investor meeting, CEO Carlos Tavares promised a massive cost-cutting effort. And it's looking as though it will mean considerable job loss for Metro Detroit, particularly at the Auburn Hills office tower. And that's where we find our business editor, Rob Maloney. Rod, uh, not good news at all for the employment picture around here. No, Devin. In fact, I've been getting rumblings that there could be some hefty layoffs here in Auburn Hills. And Carlos Tavares came to town last week essentially telling everyone, and he did it deliberately coming here, that he's aiming at this building right here, a building that Lee Iacocca once told me was paid for by the profits made with the minivan. I'll say it's a, it's a great punch. When your making. CEO comes uh, to town from Europe be, saying... We have at least two plants in the U.S. that need a significant turnaround at least two and tells you he's sending European plant managers to come clean up the mess it should get your attention but then he talks about what he calls an EV first strategy and cost cutting to compete globally with Chinese automakers by the way when we compare to Leap Motor those 30 percent cost competitive edge I'm always talking about yes you did hear that right he's looking to cut 30 percent of Stellantis costs. Auto analyst John McElroy says. Well, he's going after the company with an ax right now to get cost out. Which will no doubt send a massive shockwave through the industry. I think that the old Chrysler Group, as we've known it in Auburn Hills, is going to be a mere shadow of itself in just a couple of years. And John says the job loss is likely to be significant. But they're going to take a lot a lot we're talking thousands of people the old chrysler group makes the most money for stellantis but also is the biggest cost and set of problems which means outsourced engineering to low-cost countries like turkey and morocco is on the table which means the old headquarters building is likely headed the way of the rensen the tower almost undoubtedly will be up for sale stellantis doesn't need all that office space anymore now, I did call Stellantis Media Relations today. The building was closed for the holiday. They didn't have anybody who could respond to this. But again, I'm hearing rumblings of some big layoffs that could be coming as early as July. In the meantime, I asked John, I said, look, I said, what does this mean for the domestic three? He says, oh, you mean Ford, GM, and Tesla? He said, Stellantis is no longer an American company. It is a foreign company. Reporting live, Rod Malone. Wow. Take those words to heart. All right. 
So I don't know if you caught that towards the end of the post there, though, where he says, you know, what about the other big three? You know, what's going to happen? You know, and he and he responded with what Ford, Tesla and General Motors, because Tesla is an American company. Uh, yeah, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep and Ram are no longer an American company and Stellantis is pushing it. They want to make sure that these become European brands and uh, and or kill them. You know, we've been talking about this for a while, that they're intentionally trying to kill Dodge, intentionally trying to kill Chrysler. And if anything, they want, they really just want the prize of Jeep and they don't even really care about Ram either. So I think Stellantis is getting what they want. There's just a slow death. I mean, they bought into this thing. They had record profits. They were selling the crap out of these Hemis. And I know everybody's talking about the cafe standards, the cafe standards, you know, with uh, NHTSA and the EPA, with the current administration, and maybe they're seeing something changing in November where they don't have to follow those. And I think they're probably right, but we're not getting into politics here, but the cafe standards are unattainable. And even the current administration that is here now is seeing that, that's why they're relaxing them. Uh, somewhat. It, this is just a complete disaster. Uh, there's no way to shake it. And these brands, you know, Mopar, as you know it, the way you love it, is forever gone. The only, only way that that could change is if Stellantis offered up Dodge, Ram, and Chrysler, because they're not going to give up Jeep. But Dodge, Ram, and Chrysler could be given up. They could offer it up. An American brand like Tesla. Elon Musk could save it. And Elon Musk, there's been rumbles, and it's a different video that we're going to get into, but there's been rumbles that they were looking at maybe acquiring an internal combustion engine company and maybe merging Tesla tech in with internal combustion engines. It's kind of like generators, like a BMW i3 or the old Fisker Karma or the BMW i8. So could I see that happening? Maybe, but the way it is right now, it does not look good for Dodge or Chrysler or Ram for that matter. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, I don't know what happens from here, but it doesn't look good. And a lot more Americans in Detroit are about to lose their jobs. And that's kind of sad. Oh, 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 oh,